What percent of the blame do you give Brady for the loss yesterday? Oh, who is he? I need names. I don't know who him is. I don't know who he is. Huh. <laughs> huh. Who is him, Skip? You know who him is? Is it my turn? I'll no, go. No, no, Let no, me no. go. I'm just asking you. Do okay. you know I'll, who? I'll explain if you no, want. No, 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 I don't want you to explain. Okay. Offer without explanation. Mm. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him as much blame mm. as Skip Bayless gives him credit. Oh. Ninety percent of the blame. Really? Because it, the, the, and I know what Skip Bayless is gonna get to. We're gonna talk about that ten minute and twenty six second drive that the oh, Washington. Oh, so you're you're trying to undercut your own no, argument? No. Even as you're speaking, no, no. you're you're trying what, to disqualify what? your own argument. Did he, let me, did he play well? Huh. How did he play? Is it my turn? He scored 19 points. If it's my turn, I'll go. He scored 19 points. Hmm. It's only the second time that they've held a team on the night on the 20. The Denver Broncos and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hmm. The Broncos and the Buccaneers offense should not be in the same sentence. Huh. Tom Brady, the guy that you had at the front runner for MVP. Wait, got time 19. out, time out, time out. Last week... You had him as the front runner for MVP. It's not your turn. Oh, it's not your turn. Oh, well, I got another you're question. Gonna, I got no, one no, other no, question. Not your turn. How many plays I, I, did Tom Brady get to run yesterday? Help me out. I don't know. No. Why are you? I'm counting? not in the Hall of Fame. I, I don't know. Huh? Why are you counting the plays? Huh? Why not make the plays count? Uh, That's what my grandpa used to tell me. I'm a brother uh, now. He said, "Boy, don't count the time. Uh, make the time count. Okay. Don't count the plays, Skip Bayless. Make the plays count. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Mm. You told me you left too much time. Tom Brady had a minute and bing, bing, bing. Why well, didn't he bing, bing, bing with the time that he had? He didn't the have play? the ball. So he had no ball. He, he didn't, didn't have the ball. He got the ball with 30 seconds left in the game. Whoa, whoa, the game was over. So when he had the ball mm. in the first quarter, mm -hmm. the second quarter, the third quarter, when he he should have had three interceptions. Mm. You know he should have had three because what? They thought they had it. The ball mm. it hit the ground. He should have had three interceptions. So I just want to know, mm -hmm. when Tom Brady has now lost back-to-back -back games, I, I'm so glad. Because all I heard is that last year when Tom Brady came out the bye, he didn't lose another game. Mm. All I heard Tom, was, was Clyde Christensen running his fat yap. We're going to be so much better. Mm -hmm. I had every player on that defense mm -hmm. running their mouth. Yep. We're going to be so much better. Yep. You don't get better. Oh. Because why are you thinking you're getting better? Let me tell you what opposing teams are doing. They're breaking you down to the mm -hmm. umpteenth degree. Mm. Mm. Offensively and defensively, because you won the championship. Mm -hmm. So why you think you can just do this and get better? They're looking at ways to neutralize that skip. I tell people this all the time. Mm. I was on a team that won back to back in Broncos, ninety-seven to ninety-eight. Mm -hmm. And even though the Broncos, uh, the ninety-eight team, I think is their eighteenth best Super Bowl, or fourteenth, fifteenth best. I believe ninety-seven was our better team. For the simple fact we had a Hall of Fame left tackle and a Pro Bowl right tackle, mm -hmm. I believe that was our better team. Okay. Teams got an opportunity to go back and look at us. Even though we won the Super Bowl, TD went for 2,000. Mm -hmm. But, Skip, I'm not going to let you do this. Now, Tom Brady. I, I haven't spoken yet. Do well, what? This is, do this. Do it. Sit over there. Try to make an excuse. I'm, I'm, let, I'm giving an opportunity to come over. Excuse me. Tom Brady, there was zero sacks. The man had one hit. Tom Brady took one hit with zero sack. Their best defensive player went down with what many believe to be a torn ACL. And mm. the man gave you 19 points. Mm. That's what he put on it. Tom Brady, the GOAT, all you talk about, he got seven, seven championships. Is Do that not... true? Is that right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Skip, skip. it's yeah. not your turn to talk. It's a rhetorical question. Did I they go really... undefeated after their bye I, last I year? Yes. Skip. Yes. Yes. See? Keep going. But here's the thing. You tell me what does going undefeated after the mm -hmm. bye last year have to do with this year? Nothing. Exactly. Yep. But yet you kept mentioning it. Mm -hmm. You keep bringing it up. I, wanna... I, I haven't brought it up yes, one you time. Did. You just did. I want to know why. You brought it up. I want to know why. Tell me when it's my and turn. I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn it over here. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to tell me Trevor Simeon, mm -hmm. Trev Dog, you mm -hmm. know Trev is undefeated mm -hmm. against Tom Brady. You know that, Skip, right? And not Tyler. Remember Tyler Heineke, I played him last Taylor, yeah. Yeah, yeah, him, that one. <laughs> He's so bad you call him Tyler. Like, it's okay. He ain't bad. He mm -hmm. outplayed him last year. Yep. He outplayed him last year in the mm -hmm. playoff game and came back. He said, I want a rematch. He said, I want a do-over. Mm -hmm. He got his do-over, brought him back.
punched mm. him down. Mm. Yeah, you saw that. I saw I will, it. I'm giving him as much blame as people give him credit because you never mentioned the defense mm. when they did what they did in the playoffs. When they took I four did. Turn, when they took four turnovers off Drew Brees. Uh, I told you again and again, hottest defense in pro football was Tampa's down yeah. the stretch. Well, yep. well, talk about the hot quarterback you got. Mm -hmm. He came off the bat. Remember, he was going to be so much better. That knee. Mm -hmm. That knee was bothering him. Yep. Ooh, my knee, my knee. Ooh, my knee. He played last year with a torn MCL the whole year and won the Super Bowl mm -hmm. in his first go round at the sucking ears. Mm -hmm. Really interesting. <laughs> yeah. And then Heineken yeah. Simeon tore his tail yeah. up. Is it my turn? Yeah, your turn. Thank you. Here we go for some truth. <laughs> you just got the truth. I will give Tom Brady 35% of the blame. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to give the defense 45% of the blame, and I'm going to give that coaching staff headed by Bruce, I am a genius, Arians, 20% of the blame because they deserve probably more than that. Okay. So let's start with the fact that Bruce Arians says that both of the interceptions were Tom Brady's fault. Don't blame the receivers, he said. Blame him. Okay. Him is Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. Yeah. And here we go with the first one to little Jalen Darden, who is a rookie fourth-round pick out of North Texas. Here it is. Help me out with this, Mr. Hall of Famer. Is that an interceptable ball? Wait a second. I got to see that again. I actually think he caught the ball and started to run with the ball. That should be a fumble, Coach Arians. I know you've caught, coached everybody from Big Ben to Peyton to blah, 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 blah. And I don't care because that is not Tom Brady's fault. Help me out. Is that Tom Brady's no, fault? I don't. It hits him right in the hands and he catches it and he starts to run with it and it gets knocked up in the air and caught on the fly. And that's an interception. You, you, you know why he said it's his fault? Ball skip because he said you shouldn't have threw it to him anyway. Why the hell are you throwing him the ball? To that's, the little rookie? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know that's I, how B.A. thinks, Skip. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. The second interception, if we could see this, was a horrible interception because it was, it, it's hu he's human. Every once in a while he tries something. He tried one at New Orleans that just did not work. I don't know what he saw. I don't know what Mike Evans saw. I don't know what happened, but well, that is Tom Brady's yeah. fault. 55 turn and okay. ran Evans. That's All what right. he did. He turned and run and okay. he overshot. He well, it, it, this is double jeopardy because it's a bad idea compounded by an inaccurate throw. Correct. So you got both things going. Yes. I give you that right. full blame to Tom Brady for that one. Correct. Now let's go back to little Tyler Taylor Heineke. Do you realize what he did to this team in a playoff <laughs> game was, at the same yes. stadium at yes, Washington last yes, year? Yes, yes, I remember. He, he threw for 306 yards against Todd Bowles, <laughs> I thought, hot defense with a touchdown and interception. And he also ran it in that playoff game six times for 46 yeah. yards. And one of the runs was for a touchdown. It was like sensational run of the year by a quarterback. Yeah. It was Lamar-esque, if you will. And and that same guy in that game, he, he converted, let's get this straight. So he converted 11 of 19 yesterday, and he was 7 of 14 on third down in the playoff game. Would you believe that little Tyler Taylor Heineke is now 18 of 33 on third down against Todd Bowles' defense that won the Super Bowl last year? That's 55%. 11 of 19 on third downs yesterday? That's impossibly good. 13 of 21 okay. on third and fourth downs yesterday. Thank you. So... <laughs> He ran 71 plays to Brady's 47 plays. He had the ball 39 minutes to Brady's 21 minutes. Brady played a shaky at best first half. I give you that. But all of a sudden, Brady said, uh, I got you. I just figured you out and you out and you out. And to start the second half, he came out looking like goat. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden in the second half, Tom Brady goes 12 of 14 for 116 yards and two touchdowns and zero picks. And if we could see the touchdown throw that I thought had gotten them right back in the game to Mike Evans on a little pump and go. There he goes, and there he went, and Mike Evans scores a touchdown. That's early in the fourth quarter. This is vintage Brady. I'd say that hit him right in the hands, and 
that suddenly cut the score to what I thought was going to be three points, yeah. and Ryan Suckup missed the extra point. So all of a sudden, it sticks on four. <laughs> four. And then guess what happened? Well, you brought it up right out of the box. <laughs> 10 minutes and 26 seconds happened. Wait a minute. A 10 minute and 20 second draw, 26 second drive? I can honestly say, I don't know if I've ever seen one like that. Not to close the game, I was kidding. Okay. It's 19 plays. It's by far the longest drive anybody has had in this football season. Right. <laughs> and it, during that drive, he winds up converting four third downs and the fourth down play right. to, to score the touchdown. Mm -hmm. And you leave Tom Brady with 30 seconds. It didn't matter because okay. it was a 10-point game. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Matter. But, but you, it, something's going to happen where if you miss on fourth down, at least Brady's got the ball back with 99 yards, yards to go, go or 99 and, and a half yards. A, but he needs a touchdown. Okay, to he needs you. a touchdown. But the point was you just ate the clock. And if we could see the one play that was the play of the game, it's 305 left. It's third and five at the 15. And I said, oh, yeah. surely you guys McClary. can stop this. Yeah. You can stop this, can't you? Can't somebody stop? McLaurin caught it. Yep. Six yards. That's it. Okay, so what are the Buccaneers playing without right now? Well, they don't have Carlton Davis. He's their best cornerback. Richard Sherman got signed. He was probably going to be their second best cornerback. And what happened to him in pregame pre warmups? Right. The dreaded calf pull happened. Mm -hmm. So Richard Sherman was not able to play yesterday. He would have been on the field right. at that point. D. Delaney has been trying to sub in, and he got hurt during the game yesterday. Mm -hmm. So they're they're struggling. Then they lost Vita Vea. You talk about Chase Young going down, but Vita Vea went down, and he is a key to this run stopping, and it sounds like he's got a seriously bad knee injury. Right. It sounds like, and he was gone for much of the year last, last year, year, came yeah. back for the right. playoff run, but it sounds like he's gone. So what else is Brady working without? Well, who are his top two favorite targets? Rob Gronkowski, Antonio Brown, right. no and no. And how Gronk came back from cracked ribs to play down the stretch of a game that was virtually out of hand at Rams. Remember right. that? Yeah. He came back, he got x-rayed, right. came back and played the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you doing? Now you've missed every game since right. then. He tried briefly he tried to, to come back. Chased. Yeah, but it didn't work because right. he lasted like one series, mm -hmm. right? And A.B., they say, is still in a walking boot with an ankle injury. And Arian said the other day on Friday, I'm not sure we'll have have him back for the season. Okay, what's Tom Brady up against? He has two speed receivers who can run past you. A.B. and little Scotty Miller, right. who has a terrible turf toe injury, and he's still not back. Right. So you go into a game against Washington, and we all know Washington's front seven is really good, right? Yeah. Yeah, they have so underachieved they, all year. Yeah, they got they had, they had one hit on Brady all day with zero sacks. Okay. That's how good they all are. All right, but you you thought going into the year they yes. were really good. They, on they've paper, underachieved. There's no question. They've right? underachieved. Okay, yeah. all right. So it was one of those games where if we could see a play in the first half, it's to little DeAndre Carter. I don't even know where he came from, but he's become a key target for Washington's football team. But this is a first half play, 643 left in the second quarter. This is to Jerome Whitehead, who, who can really rock you coming up to play the run. But help me out. What if you catch that ball? Does it change the game? Should yeah. you have caught the ball? And yeah. not only do you not catch it, but DeAndre Carter does catch it for a huge first down. And that, that leads to point, leads to a field goal. So, so that summarized the game. That put it in a nutshell for me. That was the kind of game that the Buccaneers played as defending champs coming off the bye when obviously last year they thought as soon as we came off the bye, we took off. Right. And so I think they all walked on the field yesterday thinking – we're about to take well, off. We'll skip out. Well, we talked about this all offseason. I say everybody keeps talking about, oh, they're going to yep. be so much better. Well, you can't. No. Can't, you, you have to be better. Yes. Yep. But still, On paper, you should be better. But I don't think. But, Skip. I was surprised that Tom was talking like this. Mm -hmm. Considering he had been on six other championship teams and he knows how difficult it is to repeat. He knows that everybody goes in and they break you down. Yep. Every regular season game, every playoff game, they find out, okay, how do they lose this game? How do we crack this offense? Where are they vulnerable? They break you down unlike, Skip, everybody, they're not breaking down the Jets like they break down the Super Bowl team come offseason because all 30, 31 other teams are breaking the Bucks down. Okay. And so I, it, I, it was baffling to me to hear him Talk like, oh, we're going to be so much better. Like, okay, we're just going to go out there and everything. Go. But what do you think the other teams are going to do? They're going to get better also, Tom. Okay. So in the process of you getting better, they getting better. It's not going to be as easy to do it. But you said 35% Brady. 
It's never been a situation in which they won the game and you only gave Brady 35% of the credit. Mm. You always give him 75, 80. Mm. But when they lose, he plays you, quarterback. Okay, right? we'll give him more blame. Okay, that's I'm all not. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You said if he's the most valuable, they deserve more credit. Give him more blame. Don't give him 35. percent Okay, who deserves more blame yesterday, the quarterback or the defense? The quarterback. The defense could not get the ball back from Tyler Taylor Heineke. Okay, but but that's not what you did. Okay, if if the quarterback doesn't have the ball, the quarterback can't do goatish things. Well, when he when when he had the ball, he didn't do anything with it because his two interceptions led to ten points. Mm. What was the final margin of victory? Mm. T Tom Brady's QBR, Pro Football Focus said Tom Brady's QBR was thirty-two. Mm -hmm. Tyler. Taylor Heineke is 44. Yeah. All I'm. No. By the way, would you believe Brady had a better QBR than Aaron Rodgers yesterday? Just for the record. But who won? Huh? That, no, no. You see, you tell me one. You tell me all you care about is win. But I, all I'm asking you, Skip, is that if you you have never ever. Yeah. In all my years of doing this show with you, with five plus, mm -hmm. giving Tom okay. Brady doing a win. Here, 35%. here are the facts. Tom Brady suffered three more drops by his receivers yesterday. That's a total of 15 for the year. That's high. Tom Brady in the second half, I'm going to repeat the numbers, 12 of 14 for 116, two touchdowns and no picks. He had another GOAT second half. He just needed the ball back, and they would have won the football game. If you had stopped any of those four third downs and right. get, gotten him the ball back with two, three minutes left, it's over. He's going to go win the game. But you see what you did? Now, when, when Tyreek Hill dropped that pick against Buffalo mm -hmm. and the guy runs it back, you say he's out there hot-dogging. Mm -hmm. He's trying to live up to the expectation. When Tyreek Hill dropped that play against the Washington football team yep. and it got picked, you say he's trying to side on. Mm -hmm. When he threw the one and it got picked twice mm -hmm. in San, against the Chargers, yep. you blame my homeboy. Now, why you don't give, give him any of the blame? Should Tyreek have caught those balls? Should that receiver have caught that ball? Of course he should We're talking about the GOAT no, here. And that's my point. Yep. You... Be, that should even be more. Mm -hmm. He should get 100% of the blame since really? you put it like that. So Tom Brady still leads the entire NFL with 27 touchdown passes, and he leads in yards passing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look. He, oh. got, how many, he got more yards than my homeboy? Yeah. Yeah, he does. And, and by the way, in, he's got 27 touchdowns in nine games. My homeboy has 25 in 10 games. Uh, uh, hey, yeah. But, but I, tell you, I tell you what else is going up, too, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's, a, there's another thing that's, keep, that's, that's creeping up. Yeah. I, re I remember back in the day when you talk about he had 20 touchdowns and two interceptions. He had this and this. Well, I talk yeah, about Mah Mahomes has 10. Now, how many you got got? He's got seven. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he creeping on up. Huh. And, in fact, on opening night, you said both the interceptions were not whoa, his fault. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not whoa. his fault. And that Jalen Darden, you just said, was not his fault. Hold on. So that's minus three. So he actually has four interceptions. Hold on. We've seen balls carry them off receivers' hands against Patrick Mahomes. Mm. We just saw it on a Sunday night when the Buffalo Bills ran a pick six back. Mm. And you blame Mahomes because you said he was trying to live up to the hype. Mm. He, we just saw it a week, two weeks, a couple of weeks later against Washington football team. Mm. Hit Tyreek in the hand. Pick. Mm. You said it was his fault. Mm. Yards per game this year. Tom Brady, number one, 319 passing yards a Let me ask you a question. Does Yikes. It, let me ask you a question. He's 44. Let me ask you a question. Whew. Does anybody throw the ball more than Thomas Edward Patrick Brady, the 15th? The 15th? No, he, he should be the first, Thank actually. You. Does anybody throw the ball more than the Bucs? Mm. Well, a lot of Jameis threw it a lot too, and look what happened. Whoa, Skip! I'm not talking about no Jameis. It's not about Jameis. Mm -hmm. Jameis is out. Jameis right now is re uh, about to have surgery and rehabbing. Good Leave him, him out of this. Mm -hmm. All I'm asking you to do mm. is that if you would if you would have never given Tom Brady 35 percent of the credit in the win, mm -hmm. don't you dare lay 35 percent. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care Steve what's going on in the past. I care about yesterday. No, no. And he deserved 35 percent in the defense. 45 percent. That's fair, and that's, and that's accurate, and 90. that's correct. I'm so happy he didn't want to talk after that one. Yeah! Jenny, whoa, 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 yo, Jenny, Jenny, what's what? going on with that, Skip? What? Now, when they win, you got to pull the man from the podium. You got to pull him. They got to be like the Apollo. He spoke. Whoa, whoa, hold on, time out, time out, time out, Skip, Bayless. He spoke. Time out, Skip, Bayless. When Tom Brady wins a game, did he go? Got, did he go congratulate oh, Tyler Heineke? Oh, yeah, he did. Skip, let me, let me finish. Yep. 
when Tom Brady mm -hmm. wins the game, they got to bring out the same mm -hmm. man from the Apollo to pull yep. his ass off the podium. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, that's mm -hmm. it, guys. Mm -hmm. No! Well, he smoked. Get your butt up there and talk. He spoke. I didn't anticipate he it. He congratulated was everybody after said. the game. He went over there. No, 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 I want no congratulations. Yeah. He's well, a competitor. You should be congratulated because you've sent him home five straight I years. No, you I said want he should retire I five him, times. I want him now. to answer the reporter's question. Should he retire now? Get back to Tom. I promise, guys. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.